so creature replicas are a line of action figures based on monsters from urban legends. I saw them as vendors for the 2016 Mothman Festival, but they didn't have any Mothman figures at the time. In 2017, however, because of the Mothman of Point Pleasant documentary, Creature Replica made a figure based on the Mothman of West Virginia folklore. I said on Twitter that if Creature Replica ever made a Mothman figure, I would buy one. And I'm a man of my word, because I purchased one off the Small Town Monsters website, and it's just arrived in the mail. Okay, so I've yet to open this. Let's check it out. There it is. Monster Museum, the Mothman of Point Pleasant, nice illustrations there. Specimen number one, the Mothman, special edition. Cover art, see all the people in the cover art. Small town monsters and creature replica. So yeah, there's the illustration of what the statue's gonna look like. Creature replica, small town monsters working together for the Mothman. Here we go. Whoa, the wings. Separate, yeah, those together. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> the eyes are red and everything. Wow, so let's put this together. Look at that. There we have the Mothman. Wow. Check that out. more light. Yeah, check that out. So there we have the Mothman. Creature replicas, finally made a Mothman figure. So I'd say this is pretty cool. I saw it before at the 2017 Mothman Festival, but it was behind glass, so it's pretty cool to have one of these. I like that it's all sort of one color, like a statue or a trophy, but then it has the red eyes which really draw the attention. It's got some really impressive detailing on it. When it comes to the form itself, I think it's pretty good. They didn't give the moth any arms, and he has the right sort of head shape that aligns with what the witnesses described. Like I said, it's got the overall shape, which is accurate to the folklore. It's overall a good depiction. One thing, though, is the wings are somewhat moth-like, for the namesake Mothman, but uh, it doesn't really match with what the witnesses were describing. The Mothman is, of course, not a moth, and uh, in no way moth-like. That's just the name he got from the newspaper. Uh, the witnesses uh, in the town actually called him the bird. That was just the, the colloquial term for him, the bird. So he's much more bird-like than moth-like. So you gotta keep that in mind, but um, artistic liberties will be taken when they depict this sort of stuff. One great thing about the figure's wings is they're behind the back and folded so that it could spread out for takeoff. This goes along with what the Scarberry Mouths were describing about how they were what you would think of as angel wings. So I really like the detail. It's got a lot of nice sculpting on it. I'm really glad they let the face details minimal and didn't give any kind of beak or mouth. It looks like it has some sort of fur or hair, but I guess you could just assume those are feathers. He has the strong muscular human legs that uh, Linda Scarberry and her mother Mabel McDaniel described. Another thing is the feet. When it comes to the Mothman's feet, the witnesses didn't really go into detail. It could be human-like feet or bird-like feet. On this particular figure, the Mothman has bird-like talons and claws for perching. While other creature replicas of various monsters have articulation, this figure is more of a special statue for the documentary. I think it would go well on a shelf of all the other figures because it illustrates the sort of variety 
in uh, the kind of monsters that they do figures of, and the kind of monsters all throughout urban legend and folklore. The monsters of the mind and the things that people report to see. You can tell it still has that strong sort of humanoid shape that their other creatures have, but now they're going for more like bird-like features as they're depicting the Mothman. One more interesting detail is that in this statue, the Mothman is perched on the debris of the Silver Bridge, which collapsed into the Ohio River on December 15, 1967. Those that buy the figure could paint the base, with blue as the water and silver as the bridge. I'm glad it's in a very dynamic stance. I couldn't really think of a much better pose than what we have here. It perfectly encapsulates what you would think of as a Birdman, or a winged humanoid. At the 2017 Mothman Festival, I also got these, which are uh, stickers based on the design here. So those are also really nice. So overall, a great figure there by Creature Replica. They finally paid tribute to the Mothman. It goes well with the documentary. I would say it counts as folk art because it's depicting a cultural artifact of West Virginia. As Mothman historian, I approve. I can now place the Mothman here with other West Virginia folklore, the Flatwoods Monster, and John Henry. A striking visual, and a great depiction of the Mothman.